Potential energy is the amount of energy stored within an object due to its position. An apple hanging from a tree has potential energy. This apple stores the energy of the gravitational attraction of the earth for the object. The heavier and higher up the object is, the more gravitational potential energy there is. The formula is mass times gravity times height. The gravity's value in the formula varies in the, on the location. It will be 9.8 on Earth and 1.6 on the Moon. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. For example, an apple rolling on the ground has kinetic energy because it has motion and it is moving. The kinetic energy is determined by the mass and the velocity of the object. The formula is mass times 0.5 times velocity squared. Kinetic and potential energy are directly correlated. And in fact, the potential and kinetic energy add up at any point is the same. Assume an object has a potential energy of 100 joules, which is the measurement of energy, and it starts rolling down a hill. As the height of the object drops as it rolls down, its potential energy drops, let's say to 75 joules. The object started at 100 joules because the potential energy is 100 joules and the kinetic energy is 0 joules. When its potential energy drops to 75 joules, its kinetic energy increases to 25 joules as the object gets more speed. At the bottom of the hill, its height will be 0, which means that it, its potential energy is 0 joules. Therefore, its kinetic energy will be 100 joules, and that is when the object will be moving the fastest. So next time, when you are lying in your bed not wanting to get up, remember that you are not lazy, you are full of energy, potential energy.